and that lights up pretty good. They're pretty flammable. I'm going to set that right there in the middle. Lots of videos out there on different different ways to make fire starters. The egg carton sawdust with the melted wax. That's a good one. This one costs a little more. I use a fire log, a couple bucks, a little hacksaw. Well, that's what I'm going to use today to show you this. So I already did one. So you just cut it like a loaf of bread. This is just a fire log from the hardware store. Um, I think this is a zip. Duraflame, there's all kinds. Take the hacksaw and it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, cut through, nice slices. So there you go, that's a nice slice right there, you know. I'll do a few more just to show you how easy it is. Pretty close to half the log. Wife's best kitchen knife. <laughs> so what I like to do is I'll just quarter this now. So just in the middle, um, you know, you can run the knife under hot water too. This is my, just a chunk of uh, plywood I got here on our kitchen counter. That's about the size of it there. I'm gonna say inch and a half by an inch and a half, I don't know, something like that. Not too big. We get about six weeks of really cold weather. You know, we keep our wood stove going almost 24 seven. We don't really need these. But for the other five months of our heating season here, we'll uh, light the fire late afternoon, uh, damp it down, burn it all night long let it go out during the day and then repeat the process. So these come in really handy. And I mean, you can see how easy they are to make. I'd say a little easier than the whole sawdust thing. Although you are spending the money to buy a log. But, and then I just take like a plastic shoe box thing, put them all in there, get a month or two's worth of wood insert. So I got my little shoe box thing here, full of all my fire starters. There's 44 in there. So 11 slices quartered so just about a month and a half worth of uh, fire starters if you're lighting it every day so pretty good for one log now let's put this to the test so what i like to do is take my kindling um this is western red cedar we're spoiled here so anyways i like to take a flat piece here and kind of put it across the bottom that's where i'm going to set the fire starter and then uh, these pieces i'll just take crisscross in there make sure the damper is open i'm pretty sure i got this idea from my my uncle years ago and I've been burning wood for many years he gave me this trick so thanks uncle mark <laughs> anyways let's start this up okay so this is how this is how easy it is you got your fire starter piece here just hit it with the barbecue lighter so I like to leave it for a second couple seconds get it going so that's it I'm just I'm holding on to that there got plenty of space to hold it I'm going to set that right there in the middle and just take some kindling, place it over put that there and then uh, just leave that open for a bit. And then what I do is uh, I just let it get going with the door open a bit like that. Throw a piece of nice uh, Douglas fir on there, the firewood of choice around here. We burn the softwoods here mostly because that's what's uh, mostly available. So you can see it's getting going nicely with just one little part of a fire log. So there you go, the fire's going nicely. Let's put this in there now. Like that. We'll let that get going and uh, there you go. We got our fire for, uh, for the evening. I hope this little trick helps you and uh, yeah, hopefully you wanna try it out and hope it works well for you. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.